Are you tired of struggling to lose weight and seeing zero results? It's time to face the hard truth. What you're currently doing is failing you. I've been in the fitness industry for over a decade, helping countless people achieve their weight loss goals. In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the ultimate diet for losing weight fast that will finally get you the results you desperately need. No more guesswork, no more frustration, no excuses, no more fad diets or influencer diets. Let's get straight to what works by answering some of the most common questions beginners have when it comes to fast weight loss. What is the best diet to follow for fast weight loss? Let's get straight to the point. The best diet to follow is one that maintains energy levels, one that maintains muscle mass, one that still contains all three essential macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbs, one that still factors in your lifestyle, your preferences, and potentially any other underlying health condition, and most importantly, to achieve fast weight loss, it must also create a caloric deficit. So, either consuming less calories than you burn, or burning more calories than you consume or it can be a combination of the two. Therefore, the best diet for you is one that is sustainable for you. It must be sustainable, it must allow for consistency, it must contain all three macronutrients, as well as put yourself in a caloric deficit, while still allowing you to maintain energy levels and maintain your muscle mass. Overhyped diets, like the low carb diet, the carnivore diet, the ketogenic diet, do not allow for this. They are short term garbage diets that only allow you to see results within a few couple weeks. The second you stop, the second you get off that diet, you're gonna put all the weight back on and more. You have not developed the habits that allow you to maintain and keep the weight off. In my opinion, the best way to go about this is by implementing the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your diet should contain healthy whole foods that are rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, preferably also high in protein, so that satiates you for longer. And the other 20% are foods that just allow you to remain consistent, that satiate your cravings and satiate your hunger levels. These foods should still put you in a caloric deficit though. So the 80-20 rule is just dividing your caloric deficit calories to still ensure that you are in a caloric deficit. However, one more thing to note about the 80-20 rule is as you progress in your diet, the more weeks, the longer you are in a dieting phase, the 80-20 rule becomes the 85 15 rule becomes the 90-10 rule and potentially even the 95-5 rule. This is so you completely prevent and disallow for plateaus and allow you to continually see results in your caloric deficit because as you progress, you need to start cutting away and chipping away at calories. The best way to go about this is removing the caloric dense calories and instead switching them out for more volume dense calories. If you don't understand what that means, I'll try and explain it throughout the video. What are the best foods to eat for fast weight loss? The best foods to eat for fast weight loss are foods that are nutrient dense, foods that are volume dense, and foods that are low in calories that promote satiation, so allow you to be full for longer, and also support your metabolism. Stay away from foods that are ultra processed, foods with little to no nutritional value, and foods that are caloric dense. In my ultimate opinion, with my extensive research, the best diet to follow is the Mediterranean diet. So just have a look at the food pyramid that comprises the Mediterranean diet. Pick and choose foods from there, pick and choose ingredients to create recipes, healthy meals, and just ultimately allow you to achieve the fastest weight loss possible. This diet includes rich, lean proteins like chicken, turkey, fish, and also plant-based proteins like 
tofu and legumes. It also contains the top vegetables. These are often overlooked, particularly the leafy green vegetables like spinach, kale and broccoli. These are extremely complex, high in fiber, low in calories, which makes it the perfect, the perfect tool for weight loss. Then of course we have fruits. In my opinion, fruits and vegetables are the key to a sustainable weight loss period. Especially fruits that are high in water content because they're going to contain almost no calories while also being rich in vitamins, rich in minerals, which again makes it the perfect tool during a weight loss period. Whole grains and complex carbohydrate choices like quinoa, oats, brown rice and especially potatoes. My personal favorite is sweet potato because these are especially beneficial for killing two birds with one stone. Introducing fiber into your diet while also introducing complex carbohydrates that are going to keep you fuller for longer and make the entire dieting phase that much easier. Additionally, when it comes to our healthy fats, we have choices like avocado, nuts, seeds, olive oil and the list goes on. But let's be reasonable when it comes to the olive oil. Let's not drench everything in olive oil. These are of course going to allow us to have proper organ function, hormonal function and just overall allow our bodies to operate how it should. Those are just some examples from the top of my head. But of course, like I mentioned, just have a look at the Mediterranean diet pyramid, pick and choose foods from there to comprise of your healthy diet and ensure you are in a caloric deficit. Is it better to follow a strict diet plan or just eat healthier overall? Whether to follow a strict diet plan or eat healthier overall will depend on your personal preferences, your goals. For example, do you have a measurable goal? Do you need to or want to achieve a specific weight target by a specific time frame? If so, then going down the strict diet plan is most likely going to achieve the fastest results for you in the shortest amount of time. It also depends on where you are in your training age. How many years have you been training? Are you a beginner, novice, intermediate, advanced or athlete? It also depends on you as an individual. How serious are you about seeing results? How fast do you want to see results? Typically, a strict plan is always going to net you the fastest results possible in the shortest amount of time. However, in saying that, for almost 100% of people, especially those people who are beginners and novices, or just anyone who is new to dieting, new to nutrition, new to the health and fitness space, I will always recommend that they just eat healthier overall to see slow and gradual progression within the diet and nutrition, making smarter choices from week to week. A strict diet plan will of course assume you're following some sort of meal prep plan. This provides you with structure and a clear set of guidelines, making it easier for yourself to track progress as well as maintain discipline and consistency. This approach is most beneficial for those people who thrive on routine. On the other hand, adopting a more general approach to eating healthier is going to assume that you're making consistent, sustainable changes in your diet from week to week, such as increasing the amount of vegetables and fruits you're consuming, increasing the amount of whole grains and complex carbohydrates that you're consuming, reducing the amount of processed foods, discretionary choices that you're consuming in your diet, and increasing the amount of water you're drinking, just to name a few examples. This approach is going to, of course, be more flexible and make it easier for yourself to maintain in the long term. Ultimately, the best approach for you, let's go full circle here, is going to be the one that you can stick to, the one that's sustainable for you, the one that you're able to stay consistent with and enjoy, all while achieving your weight loss goals, all while remaining in a caloric deficit. How do I handle food cravings and hunger spikes? The most effective strategy here is eating balanced meals that contain rich protein sources, rich fiber sources, as well as healthy fats. So essentially, balanced meals that contain all three macronutrients, your protein, fats, and carbs. If you are selecting ingredients and selecting foods from the Mediterranean diet, that is the best 
approach you can take to curb unnecessary cravings and curb hunger spikes. Also, drinking and maintaining a healthy level of water throughout the day is also extremely important. In a diet, I would actually recommend drinking between three and four liters of water per day. You can even flavor your water. Hunger is often mistaken for thirst, hence why just keeping a bottle of water near you every single hour of the day is my recommendation. Another very solid strategy is consuming low calorie, high fiber, high water content foods like fruits and vegetables, sometimes nuts, in between your meals as snacks, you can just pop it in containers and have it on the go in order for you to curb your appetite. Remember, of course, that the 80-20 rule is there to help you in these extreme circumstances. However, what I do recommend is making healthier choices even in those 20% of foods that you decide to consume in order to remain consistent. For example, instead of consuming pizza, you can make homemade pizza. Instead of eating peanut butter, perhaps you can mix peanut butter in a protein shake that's peanut butter flavored. See, there are strategies that you can take to lower calories, increase volume to satiate your hunger, satiate your cravings. If cravings are emotional or stress-driven, potentially even addiction-driven, separate yourself from that coping mechanism. Separate yourself from that environment and do anything other than thinking about that food craving. Find other healthier alternatives that you can do in the meantime to get your mind out of the gutter. It can be a hobby, it can be more work, it can be a walk around the block, more exercise, just to name a few things. That will of course be extremely beneficial for you whenever you get those hunger cravings. Do I need to count calories? Fantastic question. This again is going to be dependent on how many years you've been training, how many years you've been trying to follow and adhere to a nutrition and diet plan. If you're a beginner, if you're a novice, if you're completely new to the health and fitness space, then absolutely not. I wouldn't recommend that you jump from zero to 100 and start counting calories and start counting your macronutrients. However, it is the most effective tool to achieve the fastest weight loss results possible because you literally are able to calculate the exact amount of calories that you are consuming per day, thus, Factor in the amount of calories you're burning per day to lose weight guaranteed. It's a guaranteed way for you to lose weight. However, in saying that, if you're new, as I mentioned, if you're new, just making and taking the appropriate steps from week to week to make consistent, sustainable changes in your diet is enough to see progress regardless. Assuming that you eventually get in a caloric deficit, you will be seeing results. If you have a coach, of course, you're able to get and achieve results like this because they're able to calculate your calories immediately. A tool for you to use is completely free online called the TDEE, the Total Daily Energy Expenditure. Just input your data on there and then you can find the calories that you require in order to be in a caloric deficit. Having the very basic knowledge of what foods contain the most calories, what foods contain the least calories, what foods contain the most protein, most carbohydrates, most fats, will of course help you and will of course aid you in your fat loss journey and of course is my recommendation too because you just need some sort of basic metric, some sort of basic knowledge to net you the results you want. Counting calories is my recommendation for someone who is in a severe plateau, who isn't seeing results despite being in a caloric deficit in their mind, for months on end, or anyone from intermediates and above. How important is exercise in losing weight fast? In my opinion, exercise is absolutely non-negotiable. You must be active. Active calories is how you're able to allow yourself to be in a further caloric deficit. It is significantly more difficult to put yourself in a caloric deficit by just food alone. Combining the two, so making smarter choices when it comes to your health, when it comes to your nutrition from week to week, as I consistently reiterate in conjunction 
with exercise is the best of both worlds. That is how you guarantee you don't hit any plateaus. That is how you guarantee that you net the fastest results possible when it comes to losing weight, when it comes to losing fat. In my opinion as well, if you want to maintain the muscle that you've developed and you've built, then of course you must be training. You must be incorporating some sort of weightlifting resistance training in conjunction with your diet. As you incorporate more exercise, more weightlifting, more cardiovascular endurance, increase the amount of steps per day, not only will your metabolism increase, your muscle skeletal system will develop, your body composition will change to allow you to not only burn the fat, burn the weight, but look athletic, look toned, and overall, just look healthy and fit. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something from today's video. That's enough questions for today. I'll answer more in the future if you want to drop them down in the comment section below. Also, if you want to debate me on any question here today, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.